Let me tell you where the water is got from. From a well where a snake lives. Every idol, there is a spirit. Most times a lying spirit. That's why you end up pursuing an idol of marriage. You end up marrying a witch. End up marrying a, in a wrong marriage. But, it's, but the prophet said so. But was he a prophet? Or was just a diviner? How do I know a diviner? If there are prophecies ends up an object that I have to carry as a point of contact. Oil, water, monkeys, salt. Intercessors became diviners. They are doing salt things, pouring oil, and they think they are doing, and they become diviners and defiled. And many of you have believed practices. We, you have the Holy Spirit. You do not need salt. You do not need oil. You do not need holy water. You don't need holy bread. You don't need to carry soil. You don't need it. Don't go into divination. And I heard people say, we are taking prophetic actions. No. You are higher than that. Before the throne of God. Did you see Jesus carrying soil? Jesus carrying salt? Do you see him with water? Do you see him with sticks? Where did you get it from? You went to diviners. They gave you water. That, now, can, how do you think the power of God can be in a bottle of water? That's so sorry. How do you, what do you, why do you want to think water Amazon. now has power? Katiba. You know what that, that is? It's idolatry. You've reduced God to a bottle of water. Katon. The day I give you water Bo. to take home or sticks Obobuti. run quickly. Duka I've become a diviner. Mbafuse Just mbafuse. say, Pastor James, Gamba God James. bless you. Mokama You've Obobuse. become a witch. The day I give you anything to take home to represent God, you just know I've shifted now to divination. The, and I'm attacking your intercession. That's how we, we open ourselves to familiar spirits. Check your bags now. You have holy water there. Oil there. You have sticks there. You have the photo of the man of God. My language is called the Yirizi. God gave you a talisman. Go remove those things from your house to the place of intercession. Return to the place of purity. Go remove the photos. Go remove the waters. That's what brought poverty in your house. Those things, demons monitor them. So that's why a demon is monitoring you. And you've defiled your children. You have gone to all altars. All kind of waters. No, let me you. tell you where the water is got from. From a well where a snake lives. Oh, Every oh, false prophet has a well. In the well there's a snake. Mm -hmm. I used to give them the snakes. I know what I'm talking about. So you are drinking from a snake. Not holy water. It is serpent water. Not holy oil. Serpent oil. Snake that stays in the oil through the night and then that oil is given the people in church the next morning. Put the snake in a big pan. Babu sleeps there. In the morning, they pack the oil in bottles. Kumachane, they give the people in church, abantu. including intercessors. Ngotu. Now, people are about to begin digging soil. Soil from Lugara. I'm taking revival from Lugara. Because you are a witch. Kubole. The power of God is not in the soil. Ama. In the name of Jesus. It's in the blood of Jesus. It's in the Holy Spirit. There is no power in my hands. I, this is a disclaimer. There is no power in my hands. The power is in the name of Jesus. Power is in the blood of Jesus. The power is in the Holy Spirit. The power is not in James Kawalia. No power in me. I have disappointed you. You Nabi came for power? I don't have it. It is in Christ. Amani. Power is in Christ. Amani. There is no power in these hands. The power is in the name of Jesus. Amani. I don't touch you. Chovo. Neda. I don't touch you. You may get infections even oh. from me. <laughs> you may get cor corona. The power. Amani. And I always tell people, if you don't know, how to access power of God. You will not be free forever. How do you access the power of God? The place of your altar.
your prayer altar what is the requirement of the altar your consecration consecrate yourself raise an altar of prayer that is accepted before the Lord there is an open heaven for you an open door for you and this is what you should learn it is Travailing, it's worshiping, it's cleansing, it's confessing, it's repentance, it's consecration that we may be blameless before the Lord. And friends, I want to say this. I don't like praying for something to you, the enemy will take away from you. As if we are getting things and the enemy takes. Give them to you only for him to take them the next day. Because we've not equipped you to come to the Lord yourself. Taught you to tarry in the presence of God. But you tarry in the presence of a preacher. You can travel miles to meet a preacher. You cannot stand the presence of God. Let all these faces, these graces to manifest in your life as a man, as an ox, as an eagle, as a lion, as a worshiper, as a watchman, as a witness. And it, oh, you go before the Lord until all these have, much, have grown in you. My prayer become an effective intercessor. It's my prayer yes, that you become a man who can go before the Lord and get it yourself. Then you deliver it to others. Who can hear God for yourself? 